Morning, everybody. Did somebody say coffee? Oh, it's a morning text message. <laughs> my phone working in the lift. The fuck? That is one of the, I'm not gonna say annoying, it's not annoying, but kind of annoying things. <laughs> you lose signal in the lift. Oh God, that's world problems, Liam. Oh my word. Large burrito, please. get a few funny looks rocking up at tall tier in the middle of New Street in the middle of the day with a massive camera. Right. Coffee. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks proper this. She can make mine again. Look at that. Lovely stuff. You know what? If you've been around for the whole time where I've been trying coffee, trying to like coffee, I'm getting there, guys. As long as it's kind of caramelly. This is a really good one, though. She put an absolute ton of, of syrup in it and stuff. It is quite a strong coffee taste, but she even put like a little little thing in, in the top, look. Like little caramelly kind of like biscuity type, I don't know, bits. I don't know. I'm buzzing for this burrito as well, it's quite a generous portion. And all of it is zero calorie as well. Can you believe it? No? Me neither. Madness. She was like, do you want whipped cream? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah I do. I don't do this every day by the way guys. I do this when, you know, it's like content. I did kind of wake up today and think, flipping out, what am I going to film? So I can't really train. I went to the gym yesterday. Um, I tried doing something, I did a set of bicep curls actually like halfway through just to kind of test it out and, and it felt great at the time. I was like, yes, I'm good. And I stood up and it was like someone was jabbing me in the arm. It was absolutely horrific, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Another few days should be okay. Maybe next week. I said it would be good by this week, but maybe next week just to be kind of realistic, you know. Oh yeah, mm, the wrap's a bit dry though. That's a shame. I also lied about it being morning. It's definitely not morning. That's not working. Just take my word for it. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Look at that. Look at all that guac. I've got loads of guac this time. I got like none last time. The guy was so stingy. I think I vlogged that too, actually. Decent. <laughs> that were decent. Problem is with me, right? Order something like that. I don't then drink when I when I have it. Like, I've still got my whole coffee. I don't want coffee right now, I want water to wash it down with. But this is like an iced, almost smoothie kind of coffee. Nah, I just prefer the taste of my burrito. <laughs> right, so, gonna get a bit of work done now. Um, some clients videos for the media business. The Media by LSJ. If you like my content, or you like the kind of style, or you like my videos or anything like that. I make them for other people too. I do my own stuff and I make videos for other people. That's how I pay my bills. So, if you're interested, go and check out the page. Get in touch. Um, yes, I'm gonna do some editing while that digests. I think I'm gonna to go to the gym because I just feel rubbish. I want to try and do something. So I'm gonna try and do some legs. Obviously stay away, stay away from the, the whole bicep. Um, but last time I couldn't even grip the handlebars, you know, on the, on the, leg extension so gonna struggle but I'd rather struggle and do something than do nothing so um, I don't know we'll see change of plan I'm not going to the gym because it's now five o'clock I have sat and edited for the past like three four hours and I've realized that I have a lot of driving to do this week so I'm actually filming two bodybuilding shows one of which is in Leeds so we are way up north and one of it which is in London so we are way down south I live in Birmingham which is pretty much in the middle of the two it's like two hours north and like two hours south um, I'm gonna have to drive to both of these shows they're in a couple of days and my car 
needs some oil. Plain and simple. I need to top up my water, top up my oil, um, and I probably realistically should check my tyres before I do all that driving. Um, bearing in mind it's probably what 110, 120 miles to Leeds at least each way. That's 250. London's probably giving me another 200. It's like five, six hundred miles on my car just this weekend. Let alone any driving that I'm going to do before. Um, so. <laughs> yeah, Bobby needs some TLC. You guys haven't seen Bobby for a while, and I have a little story to tell you about the car park. So, you see this sign? And, oh my god! <laughs> I said that before I looked. The sign is gone. It was there earlier. It's now gone because it, it was to let you know that the car park is out of service. The car stacker where I park my car, it, it was down for maintenance. And there was a poster, you can kind of see the outline if you look really carefully. But, <laughs> but it's not there anymore, which has ruined my story. So it works on this kind of fob system, which I will show you guys a little bit later, because my car, obviously, because I thought it was out of order, is not currently in there. So temporarily, for the last couple of days, I've had to park my car actually where I first parked it when I first moved in, because there was a whole fiasco with the car park that I never really told you guys. They didn't tell me that I couldn't park my car there for like the first six weeks of, of actually living there. So that was, well, not ideal. Hey, Bobby, mate. So, Bobby needs a very specific type. Bobby's my car, by the way. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby needs a very specific type of oil because I've always used the same and, touch wood, has caused me very few problems. So, I'm going to keep using the same oil but it means I'm gonna drive and God knows why I've decided to do this at rush hour it's quarter past five to get some oil which I have a picture of because I can't remember what it's called and it looks a little something like that yes oh a bit of Peggy Goo on the way <laughs> funny story actually when we were at park life um, we missed Peggy Goo we also missed Skrillex, both of which we were absolutely good. I mean, we didn't miss Fred, so it wasn't the end of the world, but they're on the same stage, and just throughout the entire day, we thought we were at the right place. It looked like it would be a good, like, turn on the lights kind of stage for Fred, so we thought we were in the right place. We figured that Skrillex was ill, or something like that, had to pull out, you know, it happens. But, <laughs> yeah, we missed Peggy Goo. Funny, not funny story, really. Okay. Let's go. Now that's the cheap version of what I want. Uh, um, yeah, that's it. Oh, I was gonna do it here, but you're not supposed to drive straight after I hit that. Bought an air freshener as well, just cause. Probably better just to get home anyway this time of day because it's just freaking stupid. It only took 10 minutes to get here. It should only take like 15, 20 to get back, so. Yeah. Rush hour tings. I f***ing love that song. I really, really love that song. Sometimes it is just a bad day. It is not a bad life. Bloody brilliant. So here's the car park, and it actually goes underneath the building. So I tap my fob like this, my little space opens up like this, and then this bit just makes my car disappear. I can't do this now because the engine is absolutely roasting. I didn't think it would that bad because I only drove for 10 minutes, but flipping heck. I'll come and do this in the morning. And just like that with the tap of the button, my car is gone. There was actually three people waiting to use like the area that I was in. 
It was like the concierge guy, one guy waiting to get his car after me, and then another person which is parked there. It's normally nobody there, so I, I kind of bottled it. I, I'm normally pretty ballsy with this whole vlogging malarkey, but I've not been here very long, and it's just embarrassing. I was already running all over the shop with my phone, putting my phone on the floor and all that kind of stuff. I just didn't want to do it anymore. So um, anyway, I'll show you the car park another time, but that is the story. I couldn't park there straight away, couldn't park there initially. Uh, but I can now, so it's all good. It's all sorted. I am going to do a little bit more work now uh, whilst this video is uploading because I have a hell of a busy day tomorrow, a hell of a busy day Friday, another show Saturday and Sunday. Um, so hopefully Monday can maybe be a bit of a more relaxed day, a bit more, more of a kind of chilled out day because I'm all about balance at the minute. If you've been watching the channel, I'm trying to find it. Um, so maybe Monday can just be a bit more of a chill out day. I can go and see a mate or like just go to the gym or something like that. Because realistically, even with the bicep, like obviously I'm kind of intentionally not training as much anyway. But right now, I could probably do with the rest and I'm not going to get that much chance to train anyway because I'm that busy with work, um, which I hate when people say. But when you're filming a show day from 8am to 9pm, you know, it, you don't really get time to train in that time. So. It is what it is. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of day in the lifestyle vlog. You guys have been asking for more lifestyle content, just more of me, my everyday life, especially since moving here. If you have made it to this point in the video and you haven't already, please drop the video a like because clearly we have a connection, you and I. We're going to get along, you know. You're still here if you haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button, stick around, turn on the notification bell, all that kind of stuff. I don't normally ask, but when you do ask, you do tend to get more. So, funnily enough, that... It tends to be how it works. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you for, for sticking by me um, all these years. All the new and old subs, much love. With these shows over the next few weeks, I'll be documenting as much of it as I can personally for myself. Obviously, I'll be there primarily for the clients, so I can't prioritize my stuff over the client's stuff because they're quite literally paying me to be there. If I get the chance, I'll vlog. Um, but it's a big insight to kind of my daily life and my job, essentially. So I will do my best. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all. I'm <laughs>